His check on stories we're following for you today on Robin Hood Radio. At last night's Salisbury Board of Selectmen's meeting, all was routine until it came to the public comment session where a large crowd was there to voice their concern about 50 years worth of pedophilia and sexual abuse that has gone unrecognized in the town according to the people in attendance. Eight to ten of the people who showed up last night at this Board of Selectments meeting spoke firsthand of their own knowledge of being sexually abused as a child while growing up in Salisbury. This was presented to the Board of Selectmen. The Board of Selectmen said they will review the matter with their attorney and get back with further details on how they will handle the situation going forward. A video of that full selectman's meeting, including the public comment section, is available at the Robin Hood Radio TV CATV6 website, which is catv6.com. Click on a Vimeo link. It's also posted on the Robin Hood Radio Facebook page as well. The Dutchess County 2018 Tavern Trail Series finale event will be held on Friday, September 21st from 6.30 to 8 p.m. at the Millerton American Legion Post in Millerton, New York. As this year's series wraps up, the focus, remembering the Great War from the Western Front to the Home Front, the evening's program will examine the experiences of two Dutchess County men killed in action on the Western Front and how their sacrifices led to the formation of the American Legion immediately following the war. The historic Tavern Trail begins its history and local cuisine together while introducing the community to iconic locales, with each installment held at different historic locations. The agenda includes a picnic-style dinner and the reading of a postcard sent in September of 1918 offering insights into the thoughts of Dutchess County soldiers as the war drew to a close. Reservations can be made online at meetup.com slash Duchess Tavern Trail. Tickets are $20 per person. All proceeds benefit the Millerton American Legion Post and the Northeast Historical Society. The Tavern Trail series generally sells out, so RSVP. Additional event details are available on the web at facebook.com slash Duchess Tavern Trail. Coming up on the 12th, the Western Massachusetts Food Bank hosts a brown bag Stockbridge food distribution site for elders at Heaton Court, 5 Pine Street in Stockbridge from 11 till noon. It's the second Wednesday of every month. Note there are restrictions based on income. For more information, 413-298-4170. The Town of Sharon regular meeting of the Planning and Zoning Commission will be held September 12th at 5 p.m. at Town Hall. Award-winning author John Neufeld, Lisa Bright and Dark, the Salisbury novel April Fool, Edgar Allen, and The Teacher via the Taconic Learning Center, including the legendary give-and-take seminars on the Man Booker Award winners, Cheever, Updike, Amos, and Green, will hold the 5th Salisbury Connecticut Writers Class Your Way. The six classes will begin on Thursday, September 13th at 11 at St. John's Church on 12 Main Street in Salisbury. Each meeting will last only an hour and a half. Alternately, classes could be held on Mondays beginning September 10th at the same time. For more information, well, you need to find out that. Contact 860-397-5343. By the way, class size is limited. Celebrate Riverwalk, Rachel Fletcher, and 30 Years of Community Activism. The Housatonic Riverwalk takes place on Thursday, September 13th, 5 till 7 p.m. Complimentary Light Fair, Cash Bar, Chrissy Farm, Stockbridge Road in Great Barrington. Put on by the Housatonic Valley African American Heritage Trail and Housatilla Float. Bread and Puppet Theater Company returns to Bard College at Simons Rock Thursday at 5.30 this year. The Grasshopper Rebellion Circus to Life featuring giant dwarfs and celestial grasshoppers. It's an outdoor performance that will be on the back lawn of the Daniel Arts Center. Admission is free. And Bread and Puppet's traditional bread and aioli will be served after all shows. More information, you can call 413-528-7400. Housatonic Valley Regional High School announces its annual open house will be held on Thursday at 645 in the Henry Burgess Auditorium. Parents will follow their child's schedule, meet with members of the faculty, staff, and administration, and receive an overview of each class's content and expectations. They'll also learn about the high school's co-curricular offerings, student activities, and social service groups at Housatonic Valley Regional High School. The Jack Keefe Memorial Law Enforcement 4 Ball Golf Scramble is happening Friday, September 14th with the rain date of October the 6th. Entry fee of $85 per player includes green fees, cart prizes, close pin beverage card, and much, much more. For more information, 824-0660. 
You can gather to celebrate music, friendship, legacies, and many years of making music. Carolyn Payton will be turning 86 this year. And to mark that special occasion and to recognize the contributions Folk Legacy has made to folk music over the last 50 years, you're invited to sing and celebrate with them this weekend. Registration is open for the weekend. Register soon as they need to give final numbers to the camp in mid-August. Friday, September 14th through Sunday the 16th at the Silver Lake Conference Center and Summer Camp Low Road in Sharon, Connecticut. Register and more information at FolkLegacyWeekend.com. Community Day is happening on Saturday, September 15th from 9 till noon. Salisbury Bank and Trust Sharon Branch. Now at Community Day, there's a free shred event and a food drive from 9 till noon at the Sharon Branch located at 5 Gay Street in Sharon. The Stanford Grange will sponsor a craft, antique, and artisan fair on Saturday, September 15th from 9 till 3 at the Stanford Grange Hall. Sixth Annual Norfolk Community Classic Car Show at the Yale Music Shed Parking Grounds Mountain Road in Norfolk, Connecticut will happen on the 15th from 11 until 3. It's a fun day for community involvement, and it's always a huge draw for people coming into town. A series of monthly art studio tours throughout Central and South Berkshire County continues on Saturday from 11 till 5 p.m. 33 artists will open their studios in 15 locations, including Dalton, Pittsfield, Richmond, Lenox, West Stockbridge, Beckett, Stockbridge, Great Barrington, and South Egremont. A brochure map of the studios is available at various theaters, hotels, and bed and breakfasts throughout the county or online at Berkshire Artist. Dot O-R-G. Kent Memorial Library will offer a look back at television news through the eyes of a local resident who experienced it as well as discussions of the present day. The Evolution of Television News as I Lived It will be offered by Rick Levy of Kent September 15th at 2 p.m. offering a review session of television news from Edward Murrow to Walter Conkright to Sean Hannity and Laura Ingram. He'll also offer a discussion how America has gotten to present day and what the future might hold. Registration is requested at 8 Six zero nine two seven three seven six one, or stopping by in person or the Kent Library at Kent Memorial Library dot org. Forest Field and Water. A view of the Hotchkiss Landscape presented September 8th through October 21st. The reception for opening will be this 15th. It'll run from 4 until 6 p.m. There'll be a bird walk September 23rd from 9 a.m. and a poetry reading on October 2nd with Hotchkiss students. More information at hotchkiss.org. Front slash arts. Kent Republicans offering a pig roast dinner on September 15th at 4 p.m. under the pavilion at Kent Commerce at Swiss Lane, the cost $15 per person. The Sandusfield Arts Center is hosting the town poet laureate Val Coleman for a talk on Abraham Lincoln and the American Constitution on September 15th at 4 p.m. Tickets can be purchased at sandusfieldartscenter.org or at the door. Songwriter Showcase is being hosted by Lance Middlebrook, taking place on a Saturday at the Northeast Millerton Library Annex. Hear the stories behind the music with local musicians Chris Shampkin, Nancy Johnson, Larry Stone, and Chris Jones. They're performing original songs and telling some of the stories that inspired them. The door is open at 7 to $5 donation is asked at the door. Refreshments will be available. Armenia Lions Club Community Classic Car Show at Maple Brook School with proceeds benefiting the Juvenile Diabetes Research Foundation on Sunday, September 16th, 10 until 2.30, rain or shine. Music, great food, and a bounce house. Also collecting used cell phones for donation to women's shelters. This is fun for the whole family. You're invited to join in. The Tri-State Mopar Club, in conjunction with Bogie's Restaurant on Route 7 in Great Barrington, presenting a car show on Sunday the 16th. All makes and models welcome. Show off your vehicle for only $10. Trophies will be awarded, along with door prizes. More information, tristatemoparclub.com. On Sunday... At the Couch uh, Pipe of VFW Post in North Canaan, a spaghetti dinner is being held to benefit the Housatonic Valley Regional High School girls soccer team. That dinner starts at 5 p.m. Our business brief is underwritten by Morgans at the Interlake and interlakeandin.com and by Salisbury Bank, salisburybank.com. The Dow Jones Industrial Average was down 59.47, starting off today at 25,857.07. The Nasdaq starts off today at 7924.16, and the S&P 500 at 2877.13. We'll take a look at the tri-state forecast. That'll come your way in just a few moments.